Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Recon FPV Recon 10 Pro Kit. In this video I'm going to assemble the frame and go over its features and specs and soon I plan to feature it in a build and flight video. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box you're getting the assembly guide, two sets of carbon fiber arms, two side supporting arms, two 25 cm long Recon FPV branded battery velcro straps, all the needed screws, standoffs and nuts for assembling the frame, a sheet of Recon FPV stickers, the bottom, middle and top carbon fiber plates, the FPV camera side plates, anti-skid battery stickers, and 3D printed TPU parts that will enable you to mount on the drone an action camera, the DJI O3 and standard air units, the VTX and radio receiver antennas and a GPS unit, a self-powered buzzer, and an FPV camera. Now I'm going to quickly assemble the frame and I'll see you in a bit in order to check the results. As you can see, the Recon 10 frame is assembled. Assembling it was quite simple and the main thing that you need to pay attention to is that the smaller 18mm standoffs should be located on the back side of the drone and not over here as indicated in the product page. In terms of features and specs, the wheelbase of the frame is 455mm and it features a wide X pattern. The thickness of the front carbon fiber arms is 7.5 mm. The back arms are a bit thicker and their thickness is 7.8 mm. It supports motors with a mounting pattern of 19 by 19 mm. The thickness of each supporting arm is 4 mm and it weighs 20.7 grams. The thickness of the bottom plate is 3 mm. The thickness of the middle plate is 2 mm. The thickness of the top plate is 2.5 mm and the distance between the middle and top plates is 20.4 mm. In addition, the frame only supports 30.5 by 30.5 mm stacks, and on the back of the frame, you'll be able to mount a VTX either using the provided 3D printed TPU part or using 20 by 20 mm M2 mounting holes. As for mounting a battery on the frame, the length of the top plate is about 13 cm, so for example this battery is going to be a bit too big, so what I'm going to do when testing out this build is to mount the battery on the bottom plate. Finally, in terms of weight, the Recon 10 Pro frame weighs 363.5 grams, including most of the 3D printed TPU parts. So overall, as far as I can tell, the Recon 10 Pro seems like a very interesting frame, it was designed of course by Dave C, which is an expert in long-range quadcopters, so I am looking forward to testing it out. What I plan to do is to review a new 10-inch Fly long-range quadcopter by iFlight and then transfer most of the parts from the iFlight build to this one, excluding the VTX, as I plan to build this drone using the DJI O3 system. Hopefully things are going to work out well, and I expect this review to be out in the next couple of weeks. Remember, in case you are purchasing this frame, that the components are going to be more expensive in comparison to a 5-inch build, and it will also require you to purchase more expensive batteries, so keep it in mind, as I don't want you to buy this frame and then be surprised that this build is going to cost you probably $600 or $700, depending on the components that you are going to use. Anyway, that's going to do it for this quick video. I wish you all happy flying and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.